<laughs> Say, man. So, Ty, well, you know, obviously you've been talking about making this move for a long time, right? So what finally was the trigger to say, yeah, this is the time to make this move? You know, we've been going back and forth on it. It's been in my mind. and I'm a doer. When I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. Um, you know, we were slated to fight Figueredo over a year ago. Obviously, COVID caught COVID pretty bad. Um, you know, but I truly believe everything is on timing. You know, it allowed me the time to, you know, do this correctly. You know, find Dr. Mateo, cap and nutrition. Um, so this has been, you know, not an overnight eight week camp thing cutting down. You know, I, I reached out to him. We've been working for close to seven months now, you know, um, getting the weight down. And it's, it's one of the best things that I've done. I actually texted Dana a couple weeks ago. And I was like, I wish I would have done this a while ago. You know, but um, I love what this has made me do. Um, the focus, you know, the extra. Like, I always come in shape ready to fight, you know. Um, just the, the mental clarity that it has, has given me um, day in and day out, you know. Uh, it's just been, it's been, you know, very inspiring. I think that's the word this week. I'm inspired. I'm inspired for what's about to take place on, on Saturday night and uh, a new division. Um, you know, end of the year, great card, you know, against, you know, a good opponent, you know, a worthy adversary. Um, and I've done everything I needed to do to uh, collect this win. It's awesome. What, what do you think, like, the, the advantages? I mean, you talk a lot about, like, the focus. Maybe it's just that. Maybe it's the mental, you know, dedication. But what do you think will be different about you or better about you at flyweight? I feel like this is probably my more natural weight. You know, I feel like a lot of the, the bantam weights are, you know, much larger, and I feel like, you know, not in, you know, skill set, speed, power, I still have that at the division, obviously, that's, that's given, you know, of my, of my career, but I would say it's the recharge, you know, the recharge from cutting down to 35 and the reload, you know, if a fighter's only gaining 10 pounds and your opponent's gaining 20 pounds, well, they're taking 10 more pounds inside that octagon, and that, you know, can make a huge difference, you know, especially in a five-round fight, um, things like that. So I feel like this has been a necessary cut or a necessary transition into the flyweight division for quite some time. It's needed to be done. Um, you know, with the raw font fight, I took the raw font fight after you know, giving the, the flyweight title shot, obviously COVID and stuff, like I said, um, they give me that, like, hey, you know, fight font, you can either, you know, you wait because it was the draw with Moreno and Figueredo. So I was going to wait, you know, over a year to fight. So I was hungry to fight, healthy, you know. Had that whole long battle with COVID coming back, you know, ups and downs of, you know, the pneumonia, you know, the torn, you know, um, vein that turned into blood clots, the vertigo. So it was, uh, you know, especially after coming out of a, a huge win over a Sun Sal and what I battled to get into that fight. I was in the hospital for over a week the kidney infection it came back 10 days before I had to go back to the hospital and do an antibiotic drip every day for 10 days leading up to the fight I was on antibiotics through the fight so um, just to get to that fight and you know have that performance get a big knockout just was you know motivated and inspired to get back in there and I went back in the gym Monday and worked hard um, and then obviously you know there's things out of your control I couldn't control getting COVID contacting COVID and what it did to my body uh, I literally thought that you know I had COVID. Well, I didn't know I had COVID, but I was in fight camp training. I'm like, well, this is how I'm going to feel, you know. And as athletes in, in this profession, we're taught to or bred through to grind through this stuff. You know, your adversaries don't care whether you're sick, you're beat up, you're not feeling well. Like, they don't, they don't give a shit, you know. So I'm like, oh, this is it. So I trained through that. I think I made it worse not knowing I had COVID. And then it just, you know, trickle effect, but also I was on antibiotics. For so long, you know, in the beginning of the year, got out of the hospital, started training again, you know, basically doing a whole fight camp again for a sun salad to be able to fight in June. It came, the infection came back. I worked with infectious disease doctors in both New Jersey and Sacramento, uh, a specialist in, uh, you know, kidney specialist in Cleveland. Uh, so yeah, it's been <laughs> it's been a, a crazy, wild roller coasters, ups and downs. But you know, I never lost my faith in myself and the confidence in myself that I would be back to, you know, being here, coming to fight week, um, you know, and I hate using this word motivated, so I'll use inspired. I'm inspired to 
I'm inspired for what's about to take place Saturday night, and uh, that's a flyweight takeover. I like it. All that you've been through. What do you think about the matchup itself? I mean, the, you, you got a whole new roster of guys, right? I mean, were you familiar with Kai at all, or you know, what, what do you think of him as an opponent? I think he's a worthy adversary. You know, I, I definitely do. I think anybody that steps inside that octagon, you have to respect. Uh, you know, I just, I just understand what is going to happen on Saturday night, and that's why I'm excited. You know, I, I came to fight week, no injuries, amazing camp, and I also think that it's to do with the nutrition, the foods that I was eating, working with Dr. Mateo, the training that I've put my body through, and the recovery, the recovery in between sessions, they able to push. I just feel like I've never felt like this. You know, there's been glimpses of, you know, these feelings. And I know every fight camp and every, you know, fight week's different and every fight's different. But um, if you know you're the pool from the past, you know, I feel like this Saturday night will be a flow state no love. That's awesome. Love to see that. Last thing I'll ask, uh, I mean, are you looking at this basically as a number one contender fight? And I'm curious if you do, you know, how much time do you need? Like, you talked about all the process that it takes to get here. Like, can you be ready for fights in, in quick order? Or do you need, like, lengthy training camps to, to get down? You know what? I'm a professional, and uh, I stay ready. You know, that's the best thing. Stay ready so you have to get ready. Even at a new division, um, you know, it's made me do things that I've, you know, not had to do in the past. The extra road work, you know. My son comes up and he, he's, he's such a loving, caring, sharing individual. He has snacks and uh, we love these barbecue chips, right? These Sun Pringles. Um, and I'm just leaving and he goes, oh, Dad, do you want some? And I was like, oh no, I said, after the play, after the big win, buddy, we'll, we'll share. And he goes, okay. And his mom sent me a video, or his, his aunt sent me a video of him not sharing the chips with with her because you know, I'm saving them for daddy after the fight. You know, so little things like that. You know, at 35, I'll take a couple right now, give me some fruit snacks too. You know, but uh, little things like that, you know, uh, just like I said, inspired. That's the word of the week. I'm inspired for what's about to go down on Saturday night. Cody okay, Janet, can you just tell us how do, it's Wednesday of fight week? How does this one feel compared to the ones at 35 physically? Physically, I always feel like I come to fight. You know, I was, I was. I was born to fight. You know, that's in my DNA, that's my makeup, that's, that's who I am. I'm, I'm a fighter, but this fight, if you're comparing it to the last fight, I came here and I'm like, yeah, I feel good, I feel ready to go, but I didn't prepare the way that I should have prepared, you know, for a five round fight, you know. Uh, and that's the word that I hate to use is motivated, you know, I was not motivated. Um, this fight camp, I've been inspired. I've been inspired this whole entire camp because it's to do something that's a few people have done. Yes, I've been a world champion. I'm a former world champion in a previous weight division. That's a small percent of human beings being able to have that title to their name. But even a smaller percentage of going to a different division and being a world champion as well. So I'm inspired by myself, but also a lot of people around me for what's about to take place Saturday. And that's just the start of it. Thank you. Um, you know, I saw that, you know, Figueredo went out to fight ready camp with Henry Cejudo. I just feel like Moreno really, really broke him in that last fight. You know, that's one of the things he gave up and gave him his back and then he got submitted. I think the, that Moreno did a great job and I think it's going to be no different. Like he said, he's his biggest sponsor. That was a, that was a funny quote from him, you know, and got to like the guy, you know, he, he's, he's a character. But I feel like uh, Moreno will, will win the fight. You know, I think that's, you know, changing camp sometimes isn't the best thing to do. But who knows? Maybe, maybe it is. There's that, always that, oh, he changed camp, he's training with Henry, he's doing this, he's doing that. We don't know. There's always that, you know, what ifs, and there's, there's doubters, and there's things. So I'm ex excited for, uh, you know, whoever wins that fight. You know, I feel confident. Whoever it is for my time to, you know, get my title shot at Flyweight, that it's destiny for me. And uh, whoever... Whoever is at the throne, the new king will be there. Talking about, uh, you know, that fight coming up, let's say you get a first round knockout, you know, this Saturday. Are you down to be a backup if they ask you? 
Oh, 100%. Yeah, that's what I told Dana. Uh, well, not to Dana, but I was speaking to some media prior to coming here. I said, hey, we might, <laughs> we might, you know, on Monday morning, walk in an office and do some business. So uh, if that's what they want me to do, like I said, first and foremost, I'm focused on Kayak Car France and mauling him on Saturday night and uh, letting the rest fall into place. I know you talked about how good you're feeling at flyweight, but do you feel like for sure your times at 135 are done? Uh, you know, I'll never say for sure that it's done at 135 because there's a lot of interesting, you know, matchups for me to be there. You know, like who knows? Who knows? Uh, like I said, I'm focused on Kai, you know, and getting this this big win, you know, and controlling what I can control is just being ready for the next opportunity. I've worked hard for this opportunity, and I'm taking full advantage of it. Cody, down here. You touched on Flow State. At the end of the month will be the five-year anniversary of when you were in the Flow State against Dominic Cruz at UFC at 207. I mean, you've had your ups and downs, and your life has changed since then. How, how would you assess the time since then? Oh, man. Five years is a long time to go through, you know, a career in the UFC. You know, life itself, five years, you know, so much can change. Um, there's a lot of good, a lot of bad, a lot of learning experiences, a lot of growth. You know, a lot of growth in those five years. You know, I was 25 years old, you know, dismantled one of the best band weights ever in a master class performance. And I was, you know, sitting here and there's the same doubters that, you know, have those questions like, oh, can you do it again in a different weight division? I've done it once before. What, what's, why can't I do it again? You know, and I don't really spend too much energy on the doubt or the, the negative energy, I just focus on what I can control and I know that I have prepared mentally, physically, emotionally. I've been through every emotion in this sport, in this life, ups and downs, where I came from, where I'm going, and uh, what I'm set out to do. You know, I feel like I was 25 years old, <laughs> I f focused on being a world champion and I won the title and I didn't have, what was my focus after being a world champion? I, it was amazing, well, don't get me wrong, it was great to be a world champion, but I almost felt, what's next? I didn't have that next goal, that next plan, the next vision. And uh, at Flyway, I, I, I know, I'm, I'm now 30 years old, five years you know, later, I take the learning experiences of being a world champion and really valuing it. I didn't value it, you know? I had the belt in my closet, lost it a couple times, you know? <laughs> like, now, you know, it's, I value it because it's not that I need this to be my identity, but I value the hard work and the ups and downs and the things that you have to go through to be the best, you know? And that's what I, you know, the blood, sweat, and tears when I look into the title and look into this, you know, future, um, that's what inspires me is the road that I took is a lot less traveled, you know? Um, a lot of ups and downs, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm here to make a, a splash in this division, you know? I'm, I'm here to be the world champion. I'm here to be the best. And that's what I set out to do when I was 12, 13 years old. I never wanted to just be like, oh, I want to be a UFC fighter. Like a lot of people are dreaming just to get in the UFC. I never said that. So I'm going to be a UFC world champion. And people would be like, can you even make money doing this? You know, like when I was 12 years old, you know, I was 12, 13. They, it's, it's crazy how the sport evolved. Very thankful for, you know, a lot of these athletes, you know, putting their blood, sweat, and tears into elevating the game. Dana, the UFC, the Tito brothers, you know, WME in here now. Like, it's, it's great to see where we're at in the sport. And, um, you know, Saturday night is just exciting. We're here in the front of a crowd, a stacked card. Like, how can you not be motivated or inspired all camp to go out there and put on performance? You go out there and fight your ass off. And, you know, you get a good victory, a good win, good knockout. However it's going to happen, I know I'm going to win. I, I truly believe in it, you know, because um, of the things that I've seen um, in, it, in himself, Kai, I'm talking about, and the things that I, you know, know in, inside of myself. I've been a world champion, a former, and I know what it takes to get there, and now I know what it takes to stay there. And uh, so I have the formula, and it's ready to go.